Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? This is Easy Things to Draw. Welcome back. Uh, today we're going to go over how to draw a rhino head. Uh, rhino's pretty cool. Um, you know, if you look at it, like Rocksteady and Bebop, right, from the Ninja Turtles, uh, which they're about to make again, but um, I used to love that. You know, the rhino's really cool, you know, especially the head. But we're going to go over the head today, not so much the, not the body, just the head. And, um, you know, there'll be other videos down the line of, like, different animal bodies, but right now we're doing the heads of a lot of different stuff. Um... I'm going to be using this, and it doesn't matter, just use whatever you want, but um, this is a Krita color Nero Hard. I, I consider it very similar to just a black colored pencil, to be honest. So, I mean, use whatever you want. This isn't going to be about shading, this is going to be more about the drawing structure, uh, you know what I mean, and kind of how to think about maybe like a rhino's head uh, to make it easier on you. So, let me focus the camera. Yeah. So... Um, I like to think of the rhino, and by the way, this can, okay, when you look at a rhino's head, there's a lot of different, um, and I know there's a difference between the white and the black rhino, stuff like that, but I'm just going to give you a general one, which can apply to both. Um, I like to think of the, kind of the rhino's head almost like a, I don't want to say, like a wedge of cheese or something. I think of it as this, maybe like a waning moon or something, or a waxing moon. This is like, or maybe potato chip from the side. I'm trying to think. I, I like potato chip from the side. And he has this, uh, or she, um, the ears go away at the top of the head. This is if you're looking at it in profile, you know, if the rhino's looking that direction. The horn comes out the top. And then uh, there's the mouth that can be added on like a block at the end here. Um, the ears would be up here somewhere, and the eye would fall roughly about halfway in there. We're just going over this really quick. Don't worry about it. We're going to go over it again right now, like, you know, like step by step. Um, if you want uh, the nostril, if you want to find the nostril, here's a shortcut, and I think I might have talked about this in the horse video, uh, for generally for uh, prey animals. If you want to find the eye, let's say, if you draw a straight line from the ear to the nostril, the eye is in that line. They're in a straight line. Normally. Again, there's a good rule of thumb. You know what I mean? If you're drawing anything, draw a line. So let's kind of take this and move it over and kind of kind of tap into it. So, like I said, I'm doing that wedge shape kind of thing. I'm drawing them three quarters now. I'm thinking of this wedge shape so he's kind of aiming this direction. Think of that wedge shape. And there's gonna be a horn at the end of that. He's got that primary horn, and I think he's got like a tertiary one or a secondary horn. Um, look at that tip top of their head. He's got this big head, and their neck kind of connects connects back there as well. Um. I usually throw this like folds underneath where the head connects to the, the body because it has this, I don't know, like this fat kind of hanging, this armored fat, you know, this kind of big muscular fat kind of thing. Um, but let's get back in the head here. The ears, if we got this little wedge shape, you know, approximate it. Um, the ears, like I said, if you, if you looked at the uh, kind of horse video, it's the same thing with prey animals. I think of it as a tube. Uh... I think of it like a like let's say a small tube, and then with another tube stacked on it, that was split. Let's just say you split that down the center, and let's say it boom opened up. I would I would imagine it going like, um, something like that. You know what I mean? That thing was like bursting or something. Like that. And then you connect it back to that tube. And you can even throw these, uh, you know, it's been in battles kind of thing. Uh, so they, they tend to have these little ears as well. And this on the ear, it's like a little chip taken off. I'm not sure if that's natural or if that's like from battles. 
that's kind of the way I look at the rhino's ear. Very similar to the horse's ear. Very, very, very similar because these things, these animals are obviously all related. You know what I mean? Um, so they're very, very similar. Uh, so, like some features of it are very similar. So right here on the top, throw that in there. Think of that tube. And then think of that open, that open, uh, that open ear. Same thing with the other side as well. It's popping on the top of the head. This one's aiming a little bit more at us, a tiny bit more because it's in three quarters. And I'm drawing this very dark. I mean, I'm, this is kind of like just structure. I'll overlay and I'll throw it like the line art generally over as well. But this is like most of the important part. Um, that there, pulling down, and it kind of, kind of blends in with the neck, this huge, just monster neck, like I said, and it's got the, you know, the vertebrae and stuff like that kind of come into play behind that, but, you know, uh, he's got this kind of forehead thing right here, halfway, about ye halfway, he's got the eye, eye's going to aim sideways, and it is very, like I said, pretty similar to a horse's eye, uh, it looks more black, honestly, when I look at it. Than a horse's eye. That's just me. He's got more of these crunchy things. He's out in the uh, you know the desert sun, like you know the kind of like African sun, and uh, at least the African versions. And uh, so there's kind of this crunchiness to the skin, you know, this dryness. It's got the same thing as the side of the horse here. It's got this kind of masseter thing on the side. This sweep from the side of the head all the way into the front. Uh, like I said, if we're draw a straight line, their nostrils tend to be lowered down on their face in the front here, like front side. And something that that I noticed uh, with these guys is uh, their the top front of their mouth hangs so far over some in, in some cases, in a lot of cases, where that's kind of like all you see is this upper lip. You know what I mean? A lot of times you don't see their lower lip. You can you can definitely see it from the side, like complete side. And like I, I know that's a that there's some differences, of course, because there's so many different kinds of them. Um, but at least for a lot of versions, it'll it'll hang really far. So I would even I would even leave it like that. You know what I mean? And it kind of looks like almost like a hippo right now without the horn. You know. And then let's locate that horn toward the front. That horn can, you know, be a lot of things. To be honest, I mean, obviously, it's just a horn shape. There's really no question about it. You can make it any way you want. It's made of keratin. Uh, I think it's the same thing that your hair is made out of, right? Or their hair is made out of. To kind of connect it to the face, and I'll go over this actually after the structure. I'll, I'll talk about that. And then there's that secondary horn. And uh, it's almost like this. It's almost like a bulge toward the top portion of that of that skull. So this would be the structure. I'm gonna grab this paper and I'm gonna slide another piece of paper over it. And like I said, this is regular computer computer paper. You can buy in a ream. I think a ream is another word for a bunch of them. Buy in a ream and uh, you know regular paper, no tracing paper, none of that. I guess thick sketchbook paper. You will probably not be able to do this. Because I know some people have kind of told me about that, um, but you can do it with this. Um, you can do it with this computer paper, and I use a lot of computer paper. So let me see. Is there a sharpener here? I can't find a sharpener. Okay, I found a sharpener. So let me sharpen my pencil real quick. Okay. <clears throat> so let's go back in here. I'm gonna find the eye right there really fast. I'm going to throw some of the, the blackness of the eye, the darkness of the eye in there. Leave like a little shine maybe, a little white shine so you can tell, so it doesn't just lose all the information. Going in here and uh, putting in some of those creases, like I said. 
I'm going to start actually with the, the uh, horn a little bit more. I mean, I'm starting with that, but I'm going to actually really go into the horn. I think it needs to be aimed a tiny bit more at us. It needs to be thinned down and then thicken up as it goes to the bottom. I'm just going to slightly alter things. Um, yeah, I really hope they don't mess up uh, Rocksteady from Rocksteady and Viva. I really hope they don't mess that up because it looks really goofy, you know what I mean? I really hope it's not too goofy because it looks like a cartoon right now. Uh, you know, whatever. It's not a big deal. Also, I forgot the bulging of the nostrils before. The bulging of the kind of no nasal cavity, whatever, the nasal area above the nostrils or really around them, but in this case, it looks more above. Um, sh you know, looks better. Sorry if that thing's shaking. Uh, my watch is telling me about random uh, Instagram messages. So I got that primary horn here. And as I throw in, like if you're just doing line art, you know, um, I like to throw a lot of lines just kind of, like I'm not so much shading, you know, like I normally do. I, I like kind of just throwing these lines because it's probably creases in the skin, you know more so than it is just lines. And I'm going to go to the bottom here, find that bottom. And that kind of swoops back up into the, like it's attached to the face there to make it look attached is a good idea to swoop it back up. Side of the face. I don't want to cheat him out of that, some of the side of the face there. That horn. I'm trying to see where the, the far side is going to be. I'm trying not to make it look too weird. You know, like it might look crooked if I don't catch that far side. Top of his skull here. And I want to connect this a little bit right here. Uh, so I'm throwing this little, just to show off the form, I'm throwing that in there. I think it looks a little bit small on this side, so I um I get a lot of replica skulls because I think they're super neat and they're amazing for drawing reference. You know, uh, you can see certain angles and like how is this pulling uh, things like that. So I'm collecting a lot of like replica skulls. I just got a actually a uh, Siberian tiger replica skull. I'll show it on um I'll I'll post it on Instagram later if you're on my Instagram. Um, it's huge, huge, huge skull. It's like a one to one replica. You know. Um, I think it's a casting mold, so it's very similar to the human skulls. They take a cadaver, they take a you know something that's already passed away, and then they uh, take a mold of that, and then they sell that for research, you know, for reference and research. Um, and uh, you know, amazing, 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 just just amazing. You didn't you realize how big they are, you know? Um, anyways, oh, I don't have an eraser. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Oh, I do have an eraser. And, uh, sorry about that, the video cut out. Um, just basically tracing over what I already did, you know, essentially. Um, what was I going to say? Forgot. I forgot. So, um, thing with the neck, like I said, it connects, really, I'm sorry, with the head, the head connects to the neck. I mean, he's kind of got, like, no neck almost, you know? I mean, they, they do clearly have a neck, but it's really tiny, like, super thick one. Like, it's short, this, I mean, it looks short from the outside, you know, it's not. Um, so it kind of connects really, it looks like it's connecting from the back of the skull almost, and it goes into this hump toward the back, which we're not really going to go over. But, um, and then, like I said, it has this, uh, the bottom portion, really, which is around here, 
and like that's really just made of a lot of uh, kind of fat, really, like fat hanging or skin, all this stuff, muscle, all, a lot of stuff. Uh, looks a little thin, so I'm gonna give it, just throw a little bit over there, and just pat it out a little bit. Let me um, work on it a tiny bit more here. Uh, you know, just like speed through all tiny, but work on it just little things, and then we'll call it a video. Anyway, that's uh, that's about it. I just kind of like messed around with it, threw some shading in there to make it a little bit more dimensional. I mean, not, nothing like, no hard shading. I don't think it's anything I need to address. I just threw a shadow on the left side of his face and underneath him. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, also, before I go, I have an announcement. This is the Armadillo. We uh, actually started, uh, we had a Kickstarter for it about two years ago, and it did really good, and... I've been using it like crazy since myself, and uh, we, you know we kind of sell them online uh, to the community. And uh, it's just a essentially it's just pencil holder that you know that's smaller for smaller pencils, uh, and you can kind of like, put it on your wrist, uh, which my buddy does. You can like I'm wearing a watch, so it kind of doesn't fit over my wrist. There's different sizes of them. You can wash it in the machine. Uh, there's a magnet inside of it. Uh, actually, if you don't want to wear it on your wrist, you just uh, this band was so that you can put it over any sketchbook. Sorry that this is kind of dirty. This is mine, so I kind of it's been beat up, you know what I mean, and thrown around. Um, I, I tend to put it over my sketchbooks, you know, my larger ones, and uh, that's pretty much it. You know, that's just some uh, something we sell. Uh, check that out. I do kind of I do kind of put an ad for it every uh, end of most episodes, but I haven't actually talked about it in a while. Um, thanks a lot guys. I appreciate you watching this. Uh, if you did learn anything in this video, I hope you did, uh, you know, press the like button and then, you know, I'll see you later.